This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to set up uh, custom sound banks with Z64 ROM management tool. Uh, so this is actually going to be really quick and simple. Um, and I'll just give you an example and then you'll be able to let your creativity flow with it basically. <laughs> okay, so the easiest way to set up custom banks is to start with uh, a default bank. So let's say we have Water Temple. And these are the instruments that are assigned to it by default. We can look at this in the files if we go to RUM, Sound, Sound Font, Vanilla. This watertemple.toml is the source of the instruments we're going to be using. So since I want to alter this, I'm only going to add instruments. I'm not going to take any away for now for the sake of the tutorial. What I'll do is I'll simply copy this file, go back one, and paste it here. So this will take the new sound bank automatically. Whatever we edit here will automatically be added. Uh, so I want to simply take, let's say, the drum from the Tata Shadow Temple Bank. I want to add that to 2 and 19. So I want to put that there. So the easiest way to do this is to go into Vanilla. We're going to open up the Shadow Temple Tomal. And the drum in Shadow is the very first track 0. So this inst entry, entry right here marks the beginning of the instrument and this is all the information up until the next one that's attached to it. So since this is the first inst in the list, this is your drum. You can see a percussion open, different percussions, different values. Uh, we can copy directly from the inst all the way to the last line, which is tuning. Copy that. And then we'll go to our tomo that we want to edit and look for that empty spot where it would be. So we're editing 19. It would be 0, 1, 2. So this is 0. This inst is 1. And this inst is 2. So we can easily just replace that with what we just copied. Paste it. And there we go. That is it. Save. Now this file is what your Z64 ROM will take as the new sound bank and you'll have a drum available there. You can recheck it again by going back into the file. Okay, inst1, that's flute. Inst2 is wind chime. And then inst entry 3 is our new percussion that we just added. And that's how to make custom sound banks. You can uh, essentially just like use all the, the defaults. Like say you want a guitar, just open up sound bank 16, copy and paste track one into whatever particular inst, right? So this is another blank one. It would be number three, right? So we could just put guitar over this one if you wanted. And that's it. That's how you make your custom sound banks.